Jesus is alive and well. He's won victory over sin and over death, and he has conquered the enemy. He's sitting at the right hand of our Heavenly Father right now. Though he's not physically with us now, he has sent the Holy Spirit to be our comforter, to be our guide, to be our prompter. Sometimes we begin to think that that Holy Spirit can't work in us after a certain age, you know, or after certain life experiences. But we're here today to tell you that the Holy Spirit still works. The Holy Spirit is still in the saving business. And the Holy Spirit can still work in a man to bring him to Christ after the age of 70. This is a great story. As you hear from Billy Ivey in his journey to faith and how now he serves the Lord after coming to him after the age of 70. Watch and listen to Billy and Brother Joe as they share together about that day out on the lake when Billy knelt to receive Christ. And that day that we went fishing, I didn't know how to fish, and you were uh, being very patient with me. And it's, it's a day I'll never forget because uh, God did a wonderful thing that day. Yes, uh, yeah, He did. Uh, God called me that day. Uh, I, uh, I remember uh, kneeling down in the boat. We were fishing and you said uh, a prayer for me and I accepted God that day. And, uh, there's been a difference in my life ever since. Sure has. I've noticed it. And, uh, my life has too. <laughs> so it, it was a great day for me. And, uh, we didn't catch a lot of fish that day, did we? No, but it didn't matter, did it? But God caught one. That's right. So uh, he got a good one. The, the good part about it. Uh, I'll never forget that day. Yes, he can. I knew he was working because you're the one that brought it up. He said, "Brother Joe, uh, we need to talk." That's true, and uh, we did. God was working, and what a change <clears throat> it made. And it was a trying time for me uh, at that time. I think uh, one thing that I'll never forget, I guess, is uh, we were over to see Weldon. You know, it was Weldon. It was very sick at the time. At the time I came out of Weldon's room, when I was saying my final goodbyes to him, really, they knew that uh, I met you in the hallway. And I told you uh, soon, you know, that we don't need to talk. You know, and I think at that very moment, uh, very moment, it was around 1 o'clock in the daytime, uh, I lost my twin brother. Maybe at the very time I was talking to you. you know, it was uh, uh, time for me, maybe something uh, told me it was time. God was working through all those circumstances to talk to your heart. He did. There's a lot of uh, people involved in this. Yes. Uh, I know my wife, first of all God, then my wife, and then a very good friend of mine, uh, C.F. Pinto. Uh, they had a, a big influence on me uh, towards uh, getting, back, getting back home and getting back into church. Uh, you know, I came from a family, uh, they were all Baptist. They all, they all said they were Baptist. Not, not many of them went to church. However, uh, baptism was something that we all had at the time. Uh, as children, they expected for you to be baptized in the church. Today. And I was in the church up until uh, my late teens, or I guess I would say probably until I got out of high school. Uh, I got away from the church at that time and I was in the service four years. And, uh, oh, there was a lot of things that come in, into play during my life over the last 50 years now. Uh, I think that I'm uh, probably one of God's miracles. 
Well, the people said seventy two years old are pretty well set in the way. Unfortunately, you're right. right. And uh, there's not too many, I think, 72 years old that can come back and say, yes, God, uh, I'm back. And, uh, That's true. And I truly am. And, uh, I'm grateful that God calls you. Yes, uh, I am too. It's never too late. That's right. You know, we're just, uh, we just, we never know, but uh, it's never too late. But what a difference it makes, doesn't it? Makes a difference.